birds. It's just the noise from the motorway. It's not even dawn yet. <laughs> but I can see you. Hello. It's the street lights. <laughs> Please don't go. This might be the last time. Don't say a hat. It's true. Dark forces are gathering. <laughs> I mean it. Craig and my brother. Not to mention I'm about to be thrown into prison. You're not going to prison. And Andrew and Craig are just going to have to accept us. It'll be hard work. I don't care. I love you. And Andrew and Craig can't do nothing about it. Andrew's up. Good. wonder what he's making for breakfast. You're kidding, right? <laughs> Why don't we get it over with? Tell him where it's at. Are you crazy? You have to go now. You're only delaying the inevitable. Jake, please don't joke around. I'm not. I want to show you I'm serious. And I'm going to stick by you no matter what. I know, but if Andrew catches us, he'll kill me. He's fine, he's just had his breakfast. Enough to feed a small African village. The nurses are fussing over him, so you don't need to worry about him. Thanks. It was an accident. These things just happen. You wonder though, don't you? If only. You can't think like that. If only we hadn't gone to the party. If only I hadn't acted like such an idiot. Chris, don't. If only we hadn't had ridiculous feet. Oh. <laughs> About nothing. Oh, honey. I'm fine. Jake? Toast? No, thanks, love. I'm late enough as it is. Go and chuck some water on your brother, please. With pleasure. And tell him to get his act together. I'm not forking out any more for lunches this week. There's stuff in the fridge. He can make his own. I don't care how late he's going to be. He's up. A miracle. Where have you been? I was taking a leak. No, you weren't. I just covered for you. I think you would be nice. Thank you, Scarlett. My favourite sister in the whole wide world. I am in your debt. You've been with Claire, haven't you? So what if I have? She's a user, Jake. Can't you see that? You wouldn't understand. Understand what? That you're in love? I'm not covering for you again. I'll remember that. She's trouble, Jake, and you know it. <laughs> oh, Hurricane El Rancho. I did warn you. Pigs! Morning, Tanya. Ah, uh, you must be my little sister, right? Yeah. Hey. Hey! Hey, I'm the one supposed to be looking like crap, not you lot. Hi, Norman. It's nice to see you guys. You too. Are you going to clean this mess up? Yeah, as soon as the painkillers kick in. Mm, promise. Hey, don't worry about it. This place could look like the slums of Calcutta, I wouldn't care. Just so good to be home. <laughs> it's where you belong. So is the mighty crusade machine. Probably hung over like the rest of us. I'll go wake him. Oh, wait, is he uh, sharing that hangover? As in, did he score? No. <laughs> but he was knocking back the drinks. His room will smell like a brewery. Oh, I'd hate to think what his liver's going through right now. Mine. <laughs> no! Welcome back, brother. Thanks, bro. It's good to see you, man. You too. Morning, ladies. Everything all right? Why don't you look ugly? Yeah, that's not fair. It's about choices. You know, feeling good on the inside and looking good on the out. What? <laughs> I'm giving myself a makeover. You know, no more unhealthy lifestyle choices. On the ball at work, on time for work. Guy's looking at a changed man. <laughs> okay, mate. Who is she? Can you anyone? Oh, I give you three weeks. Three days. Three hours. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't little Miss Honesty. You've heard then? Yeah. And I was quite surprised. I thought we had it all sorted. Everything just started spinning out of control. Jake was so good about it, but... The lie was harder to keep up than telling the truth. 
I just couldn't live with myself. I'm sorry. No need to apologize to me. It's only trying to help. I know. And thank you. Andrew must be in a bit of a tense. Yeah, you could say that. I suppose I'm going to get a rap on the knuckles as well. What? Well, did you tell him that good old Robin put you up to it? No way. I wouldn't want him getting mad at you too. He really cares about you, Claire. He's just being protective. Really? It feels like he hates me. Like I'm such an annoying little interruption to his perfect life. I really wish you'd come and talk to me first. I wouldn't have stopped you from owning up. Yeah? You must have felt so alone. <laughs> Poor thing. From now on, you come to me, okay? Tell me all about it. There'll be no judgment, no telling off, just support. Thank you. I'm on your side. Just remember that. Uh, how do you do it? My head feels like a bomb went off. Plenty of low. What's low? That's French water. It's a great purifier of party sins. Ten glasses before bed. No. We. Oui. Speaking of French, I've planned a night you'll never forget. No, thanks. Cuisine à la Provençale. It's the ultimate romantique wine and dine experience. You stood me up. Twice. Sorry, Richard Burnett, buddy. Hang in there, mate. You're on the right track. Not yet. Top-notch restaurant works every time. You just gotta persevere. Look, she's worth it, of course. Yeah, well, she is. I mean, she's the perfect girlfriend material. I don't muck around, then. She seems a nice girl. And it's only a matter of time before one of those fancy doctors catches her eye. Hello. Andrew, your darling sister tracked me down this morning. Quite teary. Sorry. Oh, don't be. I can talk for hours, you know me. <laughs> well, I'm glad she's talking to someone. Did she mention anything about the accident? No, in the end, I think she just feels really silly about behind. Oh, Andrew. Hey, you. Hey. Um, that call out last night, it was Tony. She had a miscarriage. No. Mm. Emergency Caesar. Poor well, Tony. She slipped down the stairs at home. It's her stupid stockings, that's all it was, son. But she took a really heavy fall. Excuse me. I think she still finds it difficult. Mm, of course. How's Chris? 